In today's video, Israel Adesanya posts intense sparring footage with Dan Hooker, Francis Ngannou gives an update on his UFC return, Adesanya takes a shot at Alex Pereira ahead of UFC 276, Dana White reveals John Jones will face Ngannou or Miocic in his return, and Joaquin Buckley criticizes the UFC's middleweight roster. Let's roll. Israel Adesanya recently posted a video to his YouTube channel where he and Dan Hooker had an intense sparring session heading into fight week. Here's the footage. Back in January at UFC 270, Francis Ngannou managed to overcome some real adversity by defeating Cyril Gan despite dealing with a nasty knee injury. Around two months later, the 35-year-old underwent surgery for an ACL reconstruction and MCL repair, ensuring that we wouldn't be seeing the knockout king inside the cage for quite some time. On Monday, Ngannou took to social media and posted a video where he gives an update on his return to fighting and discuss the current relationship between him and the UFC. Here's the video. So, I'm gonna be start, um, I'm gonna start training wrestling like uh, maybe in two to three months according to the doctor. Um, as everything is uh, moving good. And um, by the time, I think we might get some, we might sort out some situation. <laughs> As far as uh, contract concerned, so I would know if the, tra the training will be for a specific fight or not yet. But um, yeah, speaking of the wish, we are, um, I assume they are busy this week, the UFC executive, they are busy this week, and because of the pay per view fight, so next week we're gonna probably get a sit down and talk a little bit and see where we are going not being training get me excited about fighting so much like i want to go back to the gym i want to do everything you know um the other day i think i believe it was saturday or sunday yeah i was watching this uh movie on netflix hustle and that movie was so motivating so exciting that I, after watch, watched it, I went out um, put in my shoes to go run because I was fired up. Then I realized, damn, I can't do it. I can't run outside like right now, you know. So, because I have that, that need, you know, I have that feeling. Ahead of UFC 276's massive fight card, Israel Adesanya caught up with Kaio Sports for a fun segment called Gloves Off that involved him naming certain fighters as answers to some interesting questions. One of the questions asked was, who does Izzy believe is the most overhyped fighter currently competing in the UFC? Almost unsurprisingly, the champ named his former foe Alex Pereira. He said, I'm going to go with Alex Pereira because I'll make him look easy. Yeah, right now, just enjoying the setup fights, enjoy the setup victories, you know? Yeah, that's overhyped. 
Also, during a UFC press conference in Sydney, Australia, Adesanya discussed whether Pereira deserves a title shot if he beats Sean Strickland this Saturday. He said, I look forward to either one of those fights. I don't like this narrative of like, oh, it's too quick for Pereira. But look, Yuri Prohaska just fought for the belt and won the belt in his third fight in the UFC. I think Anderson Silva did it in the second fight. So that's fine. He's new to MMA. I've been in this game for a long time. What do you guys make of these comments from the champ? Do you also believe that Alex Pereira is the most overhyped fighter in the UFC? Let us know in the comments section. It seems like John Jones's return to the UFC perhaps is getting close to coming to fruition. During a recent interview on the Jim Rome show, Dana White revealed that Jones is just waiting on an opponent and it will be either Francis Ngannou for the undisputed title or Stipe Miocic likely for the interim belt. He said, John Jones is ready to go. We're just waiting for an opponent. It's either going to be Francis Ngannou, depending on how long his knee is going to take to recover, or Stipe Miocic. It's very interesting because I'm a huge believer in ring dust, but for all the negative things you could say about John Jones and his personal life and things that have happened, he is the best. He's definitely the best of all time. In an interview with Jimmy Smith on SiriusXM Fight Nation 156, Joaquin Buckley, who is known for the viral knockout of Impa Kasangane back in 2020, discussed the current state of the UFC's middleweight division and criticized the roster for not wanting to fight the champ. Here's the clip. A lot of those fighters in the middleweight division are kind of, I don't know about aging out, but like, okay, we've seen them fight for a title and kind of waiting for that new blood, that next generation. Do you see yourself as well? Uh, in my, in my personal opinion, it's not that there's nobody to fight next. They don't want it. You know, they don't think they can beat Izzy. A lot of guys, you know, they, they get in that top, whatever, top five, top ten, and whatever, and they cool where they at, you know? And it's unfortunate because, um, when I, like I said, when I got started with the UFC, I, I got into this business thinking that I was going to become a, a world champion. And unfortunately, you don't have a lot of guys like that, you know? They want to pick and choose certain fights and, you know, they want to cruise their way to, you know, whatever, just stay irrelevant, to be honest with you. Um, because there's guys out there for Israel to fight at the end of the day, you know. It's just finding the folks that actually want to fight them. That's the difference. Here are the top three memes you guys posted on MMAMemes.com. In third place is a meme posted by user Milena. Second place goes to MMA Fuhrer. And the number one voted meme was posted by a user named UFC Legend. If you want your meme to be included in our next video, go to MMAMemes.com and create your own meme. The top three memes will be placed at the end of our video. Thank you guys for watching. If you liked the video, please leave a like and subscribe to our channel to keep up with the latest MMA news.